He vanished three years ago on his way home for Christmas from college, and this weekend another search team will set out in Central Texas to find Jason Landry. KPRC 2's Joel Eisenbaum spoke to Jason's dad today, and Joel joins us now live from Siena. Keith, I know you are well acquainted with this story. This is a college kid, 21-year-old Jason Landry, heading home from Texas State University here to Siena, the family home. They were all going to be together for Christmas, and then everything went so wrong. He was a college student on his way home to Missouri City for Christmas, but 21-year-old Jason Landry never made it. Hello? Yes, uh, good morning, uh, Mrs. Landry. Yeah. My name is Trooper Flores with the Texas Highway Patrol. I'm currently at a uh, crash scene. It was his dad who rushed to the scene hours away and was the first one to search for Jason. These are Jason's clothes lying in the road. It's hard to see. Those are two pairs of socks, socks, shorts. That was three years ago, almost to the day. Do you think he's alive right now, today? No. Dozens of searches have yielded nothing at all, yet they don't stop. There's another search this weekend. What must it be like for parents in this position? Kent Landry, a pastor, is perhaps better equipped than most to deal with something so awful. And when you see him again, what are you gonna say to him? That's a good question. Um, You know, as a dad, you gotta be honest, part of it, you're gonna say, I'm sorry. Because as a dad, your job is to protect your kids. But even Kent Landry isn't sure what happened. Nobody we know of is sure. Was it a crime? Was it an accident? Not even the professionals know, including the Texas Attorney General's Cold Case Division, an agency this week that said the panel thoroughly examined all parts of the case and concluded that all credible leads and investigative steps have been thoroughly pursued up to this point. You know, I was sitting at a traffic light the other day, and I don't even know, remember which song it was, but it was a good old Christmas song when everyone knows. And I'm sitting there at that light thinking, well, that's not true for us that everyone is not going to be home. Everyone hasn't been home for three years. It really doesn't get too much tougher than that, especially from a dad's perspective. Coming up at six, Kent Landry's thoughts about the investigation over the last three years. His position has changed somewhat. For now, we're live outside Siena. I'm Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC 2 News. All right, Joel.